This video is part of a larger series on a project for the Element 14 community, the electronics and engineering community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now on element14.com, link in the doobly-doo. Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and if you are interested in little hackery electronics type projects that you can do while you are holed up in some kind of a quarantine, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And tally-ho! Now you may recall in a previous video we put together a little AI voice assistant with the Google AI Y kit. Now that's all fine, well, good, and jolly, but I wanted to try to put together something with a little more versatility. This is the Matrix Creator Development Board. This little gem is pretty freaking rad. It is designed specifically for IoT type devices, and it literally has just about everything you could need. It has an ultraviolet sensor, a pressure sensor, a 3D accelerometer, magnetometer, gyroscope, so like nine degree of freedom uh, type sensing, uh, humidity sensor, uh, an eight microphone array, an FPGA, an ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller. There's a lot on this little board. So uh, let's take a look here. We've got our little board here. And that is it. That's really it. Just the instructions and the uh, good old main event right there. It's a big board, too. It's kind of large. Let's get this thing hooked up to the Raspberry Pi and see just how it works. Now, before we get this thing set up, I've got to go ahead and get the Raspberry Pi all ready to go. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do that. You should know that how to do that by now. If not, go ahead and click the card up there. There's several videos walk you through the process of putting one of these together and getting it ready for showtime. Okay, so we've got the pie set up. We've got the uh, matrix board plugged in, ready to go. Now we got to set up a few things here. Uh, first thing we got to do is install the matrix kernel modules. So I have SSH'd into the Pi here, and we're going to grab the key as well as a couple of packages. All right, so we've added a key, we've added a repository, and sudo apt get upgrade. And we'll get it ready to install some stuff. Now, all the code and everything will be available for you in the show notes down in the doobly-doo. Disco! Boop, boop. Reboot! Okay, now we've got everything updated finally. Let's uh, get these kernel modules installed. Kernel modules. All right, sudo apt install matrix IO kernel modules. Ah, fantastic. There it is. Okay, we've got all that new nonsense set up. Now we just need to test this thing and make sure that it's, um, you know, listening for voices and so forth. Uh, so we're going to record a little five second clip and then play it back and see exactly what happens. Hold on to your butts. Okay, I'm recording something. Here it is, testing, testing. Yes! Fantastic. Okay, now we are ready to set up Google Assistant on here, and then we're just about ready to put this thing together. Now, I'm not going to walk you through that entire process. You can actually click the link up there in the corner, and you can watch that, uh, that whole process in that video. Okay, now that Google is set up on that end, we need to install the Google Assistant SDK and uh, the, the little Assistant example code. So we need to make sure that Python is installed on here. So do I have to get install Python 3? I'm gonna make sure that's installed. We're gonna create a Python virtual environment. And we're going to install setup tools. Whenever I'm using pip, I'm always thinking of like either Dickens' Great Expectations, or the character in like the first few seasons of South Park, which 
is based on the character in Dickens' Great Expectations, but whatever. Activate our environment. Okay, now inside our development environment, we're going to install the SDK. Do, 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 do. Okay, run the sample code. Okay, then we need to add our credentials to the installation. Okay, next thing we got to do is make sure that Git is installed. And we are going to clone the Google Assistant repository for uh, the matrix board. Put a few variables in. Okay, now we got that project ID, model ID. All right, hold on to your butts. Hey Google, tell me something good. Well, it works. <laughs> hey Google, tell me something interesting. All right, it works, fantastic. All right, so I have a working little uh, voice AI assistant thing. So the next thing I wanna do is uh, change the wake word so I'm not calling Google all the time. And I'm gonna do that in another video. So uh, go ahead and subscribe down there and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss that. Uh, follow me on social media over here. Here is a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy. And somewhere right around here, you're going to find the show notes for this episode where you can get all the code and everything that you would need to actually put this thing together yourself. In the meantime, my name is Atari. And until next time, remember, it's okay. It's just a prototype. Tally ho, y'all.